Hi there, I'm Maria and welcome to another episode of In a Nutshell, sponsored by Higher Power Raw Foods. Thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to do falafels. And I don't feel awful about this. <laughs> but someone from the Middle East might because it is an adaptation from a recipe and a, and a lot of this is about the spices. So the base is not garbanzo beans but sunflower seeds just so you know. So let's begin and we're gonna throw this all in the blender. It's really easy to make which is good for you. You will need a dehydrator or an oven on low heat and you will need a food processor so those are, the, and you'll need a lemon squeezer because I do use fresh lemon juice and I would highly recommend that you do too. Okay, so we'll begin by putting in three cups of sunflower seeds and we do sprout those as you probably know if you've been with us for a while. And we're going to put in one medium sized yellow onion which is about 11 ounces. And then I take the whole bunch, uh, this is the, the parsley, you can see that's a lot but it's great in there. Just chop it up and I just go into force and then just throw it in there. And then a bunch of cilantro as you can see. Again chop it off right, right where the little twisty is. Throw it in. It's easier to work with that way. Okay. Moving right along. And now, as I mentioned, this it's all in the spices. And I prefer to use whole spices whenever I can. And I do have a little spice grinder. And I've gone ahead and I have ground the spices, but this is coriander. That's whole coriander, that's what that looks like. And then this is cumin. And then whole black pepper. So I'm going to start by putting in three tablespoons of the ground cumin, three tablespoons of ground coriander, and by the way everything I use is organic, certified organic, so I wouldn't use anything less, and a teaspoon of chili flakes. Now I'm just putting a teaspoon so anyone that I do serve these to can eat them. If you put in a tablespoon, which is three teaspoons, it could have a little heat to it. So it just depends on who you're serving this to. So if you want to just stick to a teaspoon, that's good. Gives it a little hint, but not much. And then a teaspoon of black pepper. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon. And you could grind, grind your own cinnamon sticks in the Vitamix, that works really well. But I, I just buy the regular. And then I have three garlic cloves that I've peeled. I'm going to throw them in there. And one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to we squeeze this earlier. This is just regular lemons today. It's a half of a cup of lemon juice. And I measured out a half a cup of flax that we've already soaked and dried. So you can see it's in here and it's kind of hard to put that in there but it's about 1.2 ounces and then I ground that up as well. So that's that's all ready to go and that's a, a nice binder for for your mixture. Okay, last but not least is tahini. Now I've used a third of a cup but if you want and it isn't quite enough go from a third to a half a cup. I just that acts as a, a bit of a binder as well. You don't really taste it in the recipe but it's like I said it's a nice binder. Okay. I think we're ready to roll. 
See how easy that was? I think we did it. And I have to tell you, please don't do it in the order I told you to do it in. Start with onion and parsley and cilantro, lemon juice, tahini, and do the sunflower seeds last. It will be a lot easier for you. Okay, so you can see this is pretty nice and thick, just the way you want it. You don't want it to be runny, and that's why just the half a cup of lemon juice will suffice in this recipe. You don't need water. But, but again, I have to emphasize, put your parsley and cilantro in first. So now I'm just going to make a ball, and it can be any size you want it to be. I was making them about 1.2 ounces, and then flattening them out really nicely. It's nice to wear gloves because then you can get away with the murder scene. No, <laughs> just kidding. I had green tea today, so I am hyper. All right, so there we go. And you can see, I'm not going to make all of these, but how lovely. And they take about 24 hours or less. So check them after 12 and you might be able to flip them. So, you know, I, these are rather firm, as you can see. And, and you can break them open and they're somewhat moist inside. But you like, I like the roughness on the outside so the texture is a little drier, but the inside it's nice and moist. And that, that took about, yeah, well not, no, wasn't quite 24 hours. So just keep an eye on it. It's at 115 degrees and, you know, it's so subjective to how you want it. And even this recipe is pretty smooth. If you want a little texture in there, don't blend it as long. It's obvious, you know. So this makes about 24, depending on the size. As I said, I did 1.2 ounces on, on the ones on the plate, and, and of course it took them a little less time to dry because they are smaller. So the bigger, fatter they are, the longer it's going to take to dry. But plan on doing this in the morning and checking them late afternoon. Okay then, now we're going to make a couple of patties. And this is great because you can use romaine lettuce, as I have here. And it's really nice. So I'm going to show you how to put one together. So instead of wheat pita, we use the plant-based pita, romaine lettuce. And I cut the bottoms off and lay it on your plate. And then I'll, I would put like three falafels in there. And then sprinkle some tomato cubes on top of that. Now what's really nice is if you wanted to add some thinly sliced cucumbers, you can add that too. That would be a nice addition. I thought of that this morning. We woke up to about four inches of snow here in Southern Oregon. So I thought, I'm not gonna go out in that. So being a Florida girl. <laughs> so anyway, then I made some tahini and I'm going to give you the recipe, but I, it's just blending stuff in the blender and that's pretty easy. The thing about this tahini is it's very versatile. You can add, now for this recipe, I put a cup of tahini, which I use the raw and I use this brand. And I, I like the flavor of this. It's a, it's a uh, smoother flavor. It's not real bitter. It isn't bitter tasting at all. So I like that, that brand. And then I added a third to a half a cup, depending on your preference for lemon juice. Uh, so a third to a half of a cup of lemon juice. And two cloves of garlic. And a cup of water. And a teaspoon of salt. And blend that all in your blender. I have a Vitamix, so I use that. And next I'm going to put some scallions to finish it off on the top. And now you have your falafel. Nice, and kids, kids would like this too. So here we have our, our, or our pita, our green pita, <laughs> which you could use a toothpick if you want to present them all on a plate. 
This one just needs to be eaten. And uh, the bigger the better on the leaves of, of romaine, so too. So the tahini sauce acts as a sauce for the falafels. And if you have a lot left over like this, as you can see, made quite a bit. So you could add a tablespoon of dates if you wanted to blend that up to make a sweet dressing for your, for your salad. Or instead of the lemon juice, like a quarter of a cup of the, uh, apple cider vinegar. And that would also be a nice addition too. So just, you can play with this. And uh, this, the recipe I gave you earlier is the one that's used for the falafels and then the others would be for the dressing. Thank you for joining us today. It's always a pleasure to share my, my recipes with you. And they are all plant-based, 100% vegan and organic, and we sprout all our nuts and seeds here at Higher Power. So thank you for joining us. Namaste and blessings to you.